So the PDF reader is how you can add PDFs into your app. A couple of ways you can do this. So again, if you want to change the title, change that here, it will change it here. If you want to change this icon, and you can click here to change the icon. So for PDFs, we're going to click on Add New. And we'll call this in Texas. I can change the thumbnail um, if I wish uh, to, have, to whatever I want. I can add it because I can add a new one. So I'm just going to leave this example in place and then I'm either going to upload the file or I'm going to link to it. So for this, I'll click on File and then I'll click on Add PDF. And I simply select it from the location on my computer. Click on open. Then you'll see it will be adding. And then I click on save. If I want to add another one, this one I will do a URL link. I'll call this fishing knots. Add in the link, click on save. And when I'm ready to test it out, I'll click on Update and Preview. Scroll down, click on PDF, and you'll see it's added. Let me just go to the Edit feature. If I want, I can choose to not display a PDF. I can hide it out of view so it won't show live on my app. So just in case. I want to preload a bunch of PDF training documents and release them on a schedule I see fit. You see here you've got your icon, which is here, and then you have the title, which is here, and then how many pages. So when people click on it in app, it will open up a PDF reader in their app where they can read the PDF document. If you click on it in the emulator, it's just going to bring up um, the PDF in your web browser. If you do it in your app, it'll bring up the PDF reader. So what would you use the PDF reader for? Well, if you have eBooks, if you have training materials, if you have menus, if you have brochures, pretty much anything. I mean, people can create a nice Word doc, convert it into PDF, put their training material into their app. Maybe you're an author and you want to share some short stories within your app. You can do that as well. Another great option is flyers, where you can have a PDF off a flyer. So it'll be a design or an image, a picture, showing a flyer promoting some weekend. You can send a push notification to your users, letting them know about a new event that's happening, link it to your PDF document. They'll open it up, they'll see the flyer. So instead of posting these flyers and walls and lamp posts and through people's doors, if you have people who have installed the app on their phone, you can contact them that way. I mean, a lot of people build apps for local communities and local community services, uh, for towns, for all sorts of different businesses. And a lot of these businesses will create flyers for events they're having, for example, musicians as well. So again, if you get people installing the app, then you can contact them directly to let them know about latest offers, which you have. PDF documents are very useful. So it's not just your ebook, so to speak. There's so many different options you can use PDFs for. So see how it fits your business model and be sure to use it.